In this tutorial, we continue talking about data list matching with focus on the cross-reference component. You will find this component under Sets, Lists, at the bottom, Cross-Reference. Let's click, drag and drop the component onto Canvas, and then let's reconnect the construct point outputs, and then into the line inputs. So we allow um, data pass through the cross-reference component before reaching the line component. As you can see in Rhino window on your left, cross-reference component makes all the possible connections between these two lists. So if I choose only one item on one of the lists, like zero, you can see that it makes all connections possible with the items in another list. You could imagine that mathematically this would be similar to multiplication. So this is why we should be careful when using this component with large amounts of data. This component also has zoomable users interface, so there is a possibility to add additional lists to match. And you can um, see that it also has this sub option to alter the algorithm. And if we right click on the component, there are the options that we can choose from. However, these are for more advanced use. And we're going to focus on the default on the holistic option in this tutorial for, for the beginner series. Now let's see how we can use this component, this method in practice. We're going to create a grid of points and we start by creating a list of numerical values. I'm going to go under sets, sequence and choose series component to generate this list of values. I'm also going to use the panel so that we can always see the output. So series component has generated a list of numerical values, 10 items ranging from 0 to 9. I'm going to use these values to construct an array of points. I'm going to go under Vector Points and choose Construct Point Component. And I'm going to connect this list of numerical values to the X input in the Construct Point Component. Notice in the Rhino window we now have an array of points along X axis. Next step is to create a grid of points from this array of points. And for this purpose, the cross reference component is very appropriate. Let's go again under sets, list, and choose cross reference component. I'm going to connect series output to both A and B inputs in the cross reference component because I want this grid to be square. But I encourage you to experiment using different lists generated with series for A and B inputs. I'm going to grab a couple of panels so we can analyze output data that we get from cross reference component. Let's first discuss data multiplication aspect. So we input into A input 10 items or 10 numerical values. But as A output, we actually generate 10 sets of values ranging from 0 to 9. But it's a 100 items. And the same goes with the B output. Except that the B output generates 10 values for each of the items in the initial list. That's how we have 10 zeros, uh, 10 ones, and so on. So let's have a look how we can use these two lists to construct coordinates uh, for our grid of points. I'm going to now connect A values, A output to X coordinates and B output to Y coordinates. We can also switch it, but let's keep it simple at this point. As always, I'm going to use the panel to be able to read the output. And um, hopefully now it's more clear here to see how these coordinates were constructed. So you can see these 
list of uh, numerical values, uh, digits from 0 to 9 as x coordinate, then we have all zeros as y coordinate, and we also have all zeros as uh, z coordinate, uh, but it's just because it's a default here and we didn't change it. So we don't have the third dimension here. Our grid is flat. And again, you can see that here we have 100 points. I'm going to go under display and choose point list preview and also point order, these two components, so that it's more visible to us what's, what's happening here with this grid. I'm going to increase the size um, of the text. In my case, it's needed. And I'm also going to turn off the preview of the construct point component, so we only see the indices. Okay, so now it's uh, visible also in the Rhino window that we have a list of values here, list of points. So we have a list ranging from with indices ranging from 0 to 99. It's a hundred items, and they are all in the same list. And now let's uh, I'm gonna connect the construct point component to uh, point order before I'm going to just turn off the point list preview so you can see the order in which this uh, single list of points has been constructed into a grid so you see the rows going from the lower left point and all the way up to the upper right corner now we can try changing the inputs we can connect b output from cross-reference component to x values and then a output to y values and uh, let's have a look how our point order has changed so at first glance we have the same grid of points however the point order here is different we start with the bottom left point but this time we first move along y-axis, so upwards, and then column by column reaching the upper right point. So we have covered the basics of the cross-reference component. I encourage you to experiment further and find out how you could change the size and the proportions of this grid. And I will see you in the next tutorial.